Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we are canning up some sausage links for the pantry. Canning sausage links is another super simple canning project. It is really easy to do and we want to get some breakfast sausage in the pantry so we have the best variety of meats that we can. So we just need a few items, you know, your regular can and stuff and sausage, a little bit of salt and we're going to go ahead and get started. So we picked up six of these 12 ounce packages of breakfast sausage and they, it's Usually it takes about half a package to fill a wide mouth pint jar. So I've got 12 jars and these were under $3. So I thought that was a really good deal and wanted to get these into the pantry. So if you want to start, make sure everything is super clean and ready to go. I just set all my jars out because we're just going to load these right in. This is probably one of the easiest projects. It's like Canon. Um, chicken. We're gonna just put our sausage links right in the jar and we're gonna layer them right in. We just want to make sure they make it to the bottom. So these sausages are a little bit skinnier than the other ones I usually buy as you can see. So it's not gonna take quite so many jars. We just want to pack them in there, not over packed, but just fit comfortably. And we're just going to keep packing jars. It's always nice whenever you can find a deal to, if you can can your own meats, that is definitely the cheapest way to go because you're not paying for all that labor. If you've got a little bit of time, you can definitely save a ton of money. So once we have all our jars packed, I'm just going to put about a quarter teaspoon, an eighth to a quarter teaspoon in each jar. And this is just for flavor. You don't have to put salt or you could put a little more if you like a little bit more salt. So I'm just using pink salt because that's what I always use. But you can use canning salt. You just don't want to use the iodized table salt because they say it makes the jars cloudy. I've never used it for canning so I don't use that because I don't know. I like the pink salt. And then I'm going to take a little piece of paper towel with some white vinegar and we are going to wipe our rims. Little pieces of fat and sausage get on here while you're loading up your jars. So you just want to make sure you have nice clean rims. You can see that little piece of sausage there. Put that over. That way you get a really good seal with your lids. Most foods you're going to debubble, but this has no liquid in it. I'm not adding any liquid. This is going to make its own juices, and it won't be full of juices, but it'll have enough in the bottom, and that is fine. So I'm just going to take my lids and put them all on the jars. I've got them soaking in some warm water. Everything is room temperature to a little chilly, including the water that's in my canner because we don't, if you have anything that's really cold and then it hits the really hot, you're gonna have cracks in your jars. It'll shear the bottom right off. I've had that a few times. And it really does happen and make a difference. <laughs> you live and you learn. And um, so I just put my rings on finger tight, two fingers, and if they're over cranked down, it can make your lid buckle or get a crease in it, you want the air to escape while it is canning. So we just get all these on. 
And these little guys are ready for the canner. It really is that simple. It, it's not a difficult task at all. I'm gonna add a few other jars to the canner because I do not like to run the canner with just eight jars in it. I wanna fill my canner to utilize that. All right, so I have just rinsed my beans. These are just small red beans. And I am going to put a half cup of beans in each pint jar. And we're just, this way I've got some extra beans. I don't usually run the canner for just beans because I usually have space when I'm doing some kind of meat and they take the exact same amount of time. So I figure I might as well just can them when I have space. That's the easiest for me. And you can season your beans. These are just plain old beans because I don't know how I'm gonna use these. And I like to season them up so many different ways. So I season them once I take them out and whatever I'm gonna do with them. Add them to rice, add them to stews. Um, I find it easiest to just can them plain most of the time. We do do some baked beans and things like that. But. take these last couple and spread them around the jars and this is just a one pound bag of red beans small red beans so we got about six jars here okay so I've got my beans in my jar I'm gonna move these over here because those are just going to be for water and I'm gonna put oh just a eighth to a quarter teaspoon of salt in there we're not really gonna go too heavy on it we're not huge salt fans and the salt really is for flavor and I'm just using pink salt again and then we're going to add just some filtered water to these jars to about one inch headspace right about to this rim this glass rim right there and because these beans are going to swell up nice and big while they're in the canner. Okay, so once we've got all our jars filled, I'm just gonna run my little peeler here through to debubble and make sure there are no air bubbles in there. And we wanna just make sure on that so they see it properly. We don't have any issues with headspace. And then I'm going to take, again, I take the white vinegar on a paper towel and just clean my rims. The salt tends to stick to these if you get it on there. And I don't always use a funnel when I'm just cooking along. If I don't need it, I skip it. So we got that. And then we're going to add our lids. I'm just going to get these all in here. And these are ready for the camera once we get our rings on. It's really it doesn't have to be hard. You can really you can do a ton of these in a day. If you really want to fill that pantry up, this is the way to do it. And having beans ready to go, because I love having the dried beans, but this is quick, easy meals, really. These beans, they just open a can. You can literally eat them out of a can, just like the grocery store, or you can heat them up, add them to soups, add them to whatever you're having, burritos, anything. You can rice and beans, whatever you're doing. And because we wanna make sure our canner is full to maximize getting out of it what we're putting into it with all the fuel costs, cost of electricity, all the work, everything. I had two more spots left in there. So I'm gonna fill these two jars with just some filtered water. And the reason for this is when it comes out, it's going to be sterilized and then you can use this for wound care or anything you need sterilized water for any uh, anything you're canning really um, even if it's like 30 minute vegetables it's going to sterilize that water and you're going to have good sterilized water for your um, 
for your first aid or whatever you need it for. If you're making something you need sterilized water, it's definitely good to have on hand. We're not gonna add anything to this. We'll just put our lids and rings on. So we have all of our sausage links just popped right in here. So the bottom layer is there. I'm gonna add a second layer on here and we're just gonna put our beans and water right in here and fill this can right up. We don't want any wasted space and this just I try to do this with every candy load so we're getting the most out of it. And then I'm just gonna put a little white vinegar, the same stuff I'm cleaning my jars with, right in there, maybe a tablespoon or two. And that just helps the jars so you don't get that white crusty rings on them while they're canning. And and because I'm using an All-American, I've just got a little olive oil here and that beveled edge. You just want to grease that because they don't have a rubber seal. It's just metal to metal. So we always grease this every time we can. We're going to add our lid. And we are going to set this on high and bring this up so we're seeing solid steam come from our vent. We're gonna time that for 10 minutes. That is part of the canning process. It's built into the times for safety. So um, definitely we'll let that vent for 10 minutes and then we'll add our weight. I'm gonna use 10 pounds because that's what my elevation is at. But if you are much higher up and you need 15, do that definitely. So once we get up to 10 pounds, we will can, because it's all pints, we'll can this for 75 minutes. Once we let the pressure come down all on its own, I let it sit for about five minutes before I pull them out. And these are still bubbling. You can see in the jars, they're super hot. We're gonna let these sit on the counter overnight and we will give them a quick wash with just some hot soapy water remove the rings and label them up and they're ready for the pantry so it's really sausage is really super simple stuff it in the jar and can it and beans really easy to do and anytime you have empty spots in your can of just one or two jars um, I always like to throw in a little bit of water just so I have some sterilized water just in case we need it it's good to have in your emergency supplies and you could drink it or it's perfect for wound care and things of that nature and that's it super simple and easy if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye